Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Cool Collectibles, back again for another review. This time it's the Kyoto Revoltech Movie Revo Series Number 1 DeLorean. For all the amazing figures coming out of Japan, click the link in the description below to head on over to Big Bad Toy Store. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, I pre-ordered this uh, quite a while ago, I think, uh, despite having the Hot Toys 1-6 scale DeLorean on pre-order as well. Uh, but when I saw the photos of this thing with the flames and the stand that you see there, I pretty much uh, couldn't resist. Um, and it goes for about $50-$60 um, from Big Bad Toy Store, so click that uh, link in the description below to head on over and uh, check it out. Um, but uh, I haven't uh, heard too much about the quality of um, these uh, figures from uh, Kyoto. I did hear perhaps the recent X-Wing wasn't uh, too good in quality, um, but I haven't heard too many words on uh, this DeLorean, so um, hopefully when I crack it open uh, it's not too bad. Um, but I do like the fact that it's got um, the, the stand there, the flames, the flames do look pretty cool if uh, you see in that picture there. Um, and it does uh, have the uh, the doors that open and so on, so um, I'm not sure if there's any die cast in this, so I doubt it. But um, I'll crack him open and uh, give you guys a closer look. Alright, so here are the contents, so you get the pretty decent stand with the adjustable hinge. Um, and the, uh, the peg here pretty much just fits into that hole there in the base. Um, and it is pretty light, so there's no um, issue with uh, this thing toppling over. So you just put the base in the bottom there, and you're pretty much good to go with the stand. So onto the car. Um, it is pretty light on, so there is no um, die cast or, or metal in this that I can see. The overall paint application is pretty good, and the detailing isn't too bad. But I guess it does have a bit of a, a cheap feel to it. Um, it is all plastic. The detailing in the back here though is actually pretty nice. So you get a good look at the uh, Mr. Fusion there. And all the detailing and cabling in the back. Which isn't too bad. So everything seems to fit fairly well. And this nice shine is pretty good too. So you get a look at the DMC there. And the windscreen and so on is all quite nicely done. So these doors just pretty much open by, um, I just usually normally grab it there and just uh, flick that open without snapping anything. So I'll give you guys a look on the detailing on the inside, if I can get my light in there. So not too bad, not sure what this little bit of string thing is, there you go. Center console, so not too bad. But uh, nothing too major to write home about either. Um, so just close that up. And uh, I guess the uh, the Revoltec uh, joints come into play with the wheels. So you can see here. That you can see just the ball joint there. So you pretty much just pull it out. And then you adjust it to, like so to lie flat. And do the same on the other side. So I guess that's the only real place that you... The Revoltec joints come into play, and the tyres are quite nice. Uh, I do like that they're, they're actually rubble, rubber tyres, um, not just hard plastic tyres, so a nice touch there. So then you just fold that up, and uh, just clip that so it's flat. So you pretty much have the flying DeLorean, and then you just uh, put that thing in the hole there, gently. <laughs> It seems pretty tight. Hang on, I'll uh, just do that off camera, hold on. All right, just uh, be careful when you twist that in there. It is uh, pretty tight, so I'm just trying not to snap anything. Uh, but you pretty much get it into that sort of stand. Um, and I think it, no, there is no sort of tilt, um, but you can sort of get it up uh, pretty much like that. And I think the flaming tire things here, uh, I'm not sure if it's the long edge on the bottom. Let me just double check the instructions. It could be the long edge on the bottom. And I think you just sort of slide it in along the wheel somehow, like so. And then on this side, slide the wheels in a bit like that. And you're pretty much left with that look, which overall does look pretty damn cool. So I can't really complain about that too much on display, like that. Um, it's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty good collectible for about $50, $60. So 
Overall, the, the stuff coming out of Japan, I, I've, I've pretty much loved everything that's come out of Japan, from Bandai to Machinations, um, Kyoto, um, I think Play Arts Kai comes out of Japan as well, so um, all of that stuff is uh, pretty damn good. So uh, I'm not sure what's next in this uh, movie Revo series. Um, I haven't seen any other teasers on um, uh, vehicles from other movies, um, but if they're doing the DeLorean, hopefully they do something out of you know the the fifth element. You know the taxi would be would be pretty awesome, or the police car, or um, something out of Blade Runner, or, or something like that. So I'm um, hopefully uh, they pick some iconic movies um, and take the series uh, to the next level with that. So hopefully you like that uh, quick look. Hope you can click that subscribe button. I've got a whole bunch of reviews still coming up. I've got the Play Arts Kai Darth Maul and my comparison with uh, the new reissue of MP12 Sideswipe and I still have uh, the NECA series Aliens coming up as well. So um, hopefully you can stick around for all that. Thanks again and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.